Welcome back to my channel for today's makeup tutorial. I wanted to go ahead and create a Kim K inspired makeup look So this is what I came up with right here I even paired it with a snatched ponytail to give you guys the full vibe and of course your girl is always highlighted So I went ahead and made sure my skin was nice and glowy and pretty for this tutorial If you guys are interested in seeing how I accomplished this look, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We are looking a little bit like a troll today, but we are gonna get ready. So let's go ahead and start off with priming our face. I'm gonna go in with the Pearl Essence Coconut Rose Water. It looks just like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a nice, generous amount on the skin. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my favorite. I've been using this every single time I apply my makeup, when I wake up, when I go to sleep, just because it's so, so good on the skin. So this is the Advanced Clinicals Instant Plumping Collagen, and it looks just like this, and it comes with a little dropper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some on the skin and massage it in with my fingers. want this video to be all about the skin and looking nice and luminous so I'm gonna go in with the true match lumi lotion which you guys already know I love using this as well this is um, number 903 in medium and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this onto the skin and then I'm just massaging this into the skin with my beauty sponge I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. It's just a nice thin lotion consistency kind of primer. And I'm gonna take this on my hand and just apply a nice amount on the T-zone area. Um, this is supposed to just help keep your makeup in place. And I just love using this, especially because it's drugstore and it's so good. taking this Wet n Wild liquid highlighter. I've been really, really loving this product. It's A, affordable, and it really does the trick when it comes to a uh, liquid highlighter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the high points of my face. And what I like to do is I like to apply and then work it with the beauty sponge first so that it doesn't dry and cause any like blotching. And then I do that on the areas where I wanna be nice and glowing. See, like this. And then this is this side. So we're gonna go ahead and do that onto the rest of the face. just adds a nice glow onto the skin. It's the same areas where we're gonna be applying our highlighter later, so it just makes it that much more intense. Before applying my foundation, I like to go in with the Revlon Photo Ready um, Eye Primer. This just is in a peachy shade, and it will just open up and get rid of any of that purpley um, color that we might have going on under our eyes. So just like doing this before applying my foundation so it's a nice base right under the eyes and then taking my beauty sponge today I am going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I've been loving using this foundation as well just because it is oil free so for us oily girls this is definitely a must. I like using this one um, just all over the face so I don't have a special way of doing it. I literally just pump it onto the skin and then blend it out. Guys, 
have any special plans coming for the summer. I live in Colorado and the weather here is super bipolar. We have rainy days, we have sunny days, we have snowy days, we just have gloomy days and honestly, it's so confusing. <laughs> I'm ready for nice weather and camping and doing all of that fun stuff. Okay, so I'm not gonna go in and set my face just yet because I like to set everything all at once. I am gonna go in and do my eye makeup first so I don't wanna have any creasing or anything like that. So I'm, I am gonna go ahead and fill in my brows using the Total Temptation Brow Definer and I am in the shade Brunette and I will be right back. Okay, so now that our brows are on and we're not looking crazy, I am going to go ahead and set my concealer. Um, I applied a little bit of concealer to be my base before applying my shadows. So I'm going to go into the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia and I'm just going to go ahead and grab the color Tempera, which is this one right here. And I'm going to apply this on the brow bone and lightly on the all about the blue on the lower lash line so for the lid and our crease shade we don't have to do anything too crazy with it so we're just gonna go in to the soft glam palette once again and grab the color orange soda which is this one right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that um, as the base to my transition shade and then we'll go in with burnt orange down all the way to the lid because we're not going to do anything special with our lid so you can go ahead and bring that color all the way down my Morphe M433. I'm going to go in and take burnt orange and do the same step, just put it all over the lid. I am going to also pick up a little bit of brush stick, just a dab, and I'm just going to go ahead and concentrate that closer to the lash line. And then whatever is left, you want to diffuse it upward and just continue to blend this color out. Going back in with Tempera, which is that white color that we applied before, I'm just going to go ahead and redefine my brow bone. that on the inner corner. So I am going to be doing a wing liner. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Eye Studio, which is in blackest black, and I'm going to just go ahead and do a nice wing. Okay, so my eyeliner is on nice and sharp. So we're gonna go ahead and set our brows. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Brow Precise and just do a little set in action for my brows. To conceal and brighten our under eyes, I am gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie. It is the Age Rewind and it is in light. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a nice amount of this onto the under eye.
So to contour today, I am going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Hazelnut, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this onto the areas where I want to have a little bit more color. And to blend all that out, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. brush. Today I'm taking the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. This is in the shade Ghost. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of it just because it is very highly concentrated so I just don't want to have very white under eyes but this helps brighten them up so I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this. And I'm not going to let this bake for too long because I don't want my under eyes to get super crusty and dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly remove that with any brush that you may have. my skin just a little bit. I'm taking my Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil and I'm going to go ahead and apply that with an angled brush. Kardashian always has a nice tan complexion so I definitely want to go in with a warmer bronzer. to our lower lash line. I'm gonna be taking the 35B palette from Morphe. I'm gonna be taking these two blue colors right here in the palette, this one and this one, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the lower lash line. First, I'm gonna be taking this color right here, and I'm gonna be applying it on the lower lash line with a pencil brush. and switch over to a flat brush just because I want to make sure I can get really close to that lower lash. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this brush instead and then start stamping it onto the lower lash line. And taking a small clean brush, I'm just going to go ahead and buff out right underneath it to really smoke it out and get rid of any harsh edges. Going back in with that blue shade. lash line is done. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara and I'm just going to apply a light coat on the lower lashes. For blush today I want to keep it nice, neutral, and bronzy. So I'm going in with the NYX blush and it is in terracotta and it's just a nice shimmery bronzy shade and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this with the same brush that we applied our bronzer with and I'm just going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Today I'm going to go in with the Milani Strobe Highlight. This is just a nice white champagne color. It'll complement this look very nicely and it is one of my favorites. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this generously <laughs> on the high points of my face. 
and I'm gonna connect it to the brow so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it up here corner highlight so I'm going to be taking the same highlighter and I'm just placing that on the inner corner of the eye to really tie in that look together on the brow bone just to really make that pop lips I'm also gonna keep them nice and nude I'm gonna go in with this nude lipstick in the shade natural and I think I got this at Sally's um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and lip line use in this lip liner just like the rest of the face so I'm going in with the ColourPop Cosmetics liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Chi it is one of my favorites and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my lips I do want a little gloss just because it goes with the rest of the look and Kim always has a glossy lip. So I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. lip gloss. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and set the makeup with the Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Setting Spray. But yeah, you guys, this finalizes this Kim K inspired makeup tutorial. I loved how it looked. I had to put my hair up in a ponytail and really give you guys that Kim K vibe. So that's what I did here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware as to when I post new videos. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial.